What up? So there are some people, okay? They want you to be sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want you to be upset. <laughs> they want you to be pining and panting after them. I don't know. <laughs> they want you to be all of these things. But sad and unhappy being the most that they want you to be. But you won't be, right? Why? Because you're not sad. Because <laughs> you're not depressed. I mean, you're not, right? <laughs> so they're trying to throw all of this nasty energy at you, right? That's why you be having these little moments of uh, spurts of crying or, or, or um, you know, your mood fluctuating up and down. That's not you. Mm-mm. That's not you, beloved. That's them. You're feeling what they're going through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember that video I made uh, four, four days ago, right? When I was talking about I can feel them. Yeah, you can feel them. And it's total chaos and destruction like nobody's business. Like they never even imagined. <laughs> like they've never seen or experienced before. Okay? Can you imagine people that have never taken accountability for things wrong that they've done, never told the truth, right? Finally receiving judgment for every single last evil work that they have ever done to someone. You know, I was watching this movie. Uh, me and Baby was watching this movie. And it was about this... Uh, okay, so this little boy, right? His father was framed for raping and murdering um, a young girl that he did not do, right? The lawyer um, and the judge were in cahoots, right? The judge was the one who did it. Yes. The judge was the narcissist, a narcissist, okay? So the little boy was traumatized, right? He knew this, he knew this, right? The boy was traumatized at the age that he was. I think he was like eight or nine, and he was stuck with that trauma, right? So from that point on, right, he became a narcissist, right? The little boy, right? I already told you about the judge, right? The little boy became a narcissist. So he grew up, found out where the man lived, basically was following him the whole time, infiltrated a way into the man's house through the man's wife, had an affair with her. Then he had a, he had a sexual relationship with the daughter, the daughter, okay? Stalking them. He was a student of the wife, right? It's just a whole bunch of just a tangled web, right? Come to find out, oh, there's a police detective too, okay? That was the judge's brother. Hope I'm not confusing y'all. That was the judge's brother, right? The narcissist. That was the judge's brother. So the judge's wife, right? The judge's wife was stolen from his brother. So the judge stole his brother's wife, right? Even the baby, right? So all these years growing up, uh, the police officer, right? That's the judge's brother, thought that, or didn't know that his niece was really his daughter, okay? And the police officer's wife was murdered as well. Right? Come to find out at the end of all of this, the judge, which was the father, okay? He did the murders. He did the framing. Lied on his brother, which is the police officer. Tried to have him shot, uh, shot and killed. Own brother. 
claimed his brother's daughter to be his and it wasn't and didn't find out until the daughter was almost out of high school. The point I'm making is at the end of this, right? When the judge, okay, he was caught on to by his brother, right? Now, by the end of this, he's confessing now, right? Because all, everything that he's been keeping on the inside it's just been secret after secret after sneaky, uh, uh, lustful, uh, trips, uh, after, uh, murders and, uh, cover-ups. All of this stuff. These secrets that they were keeping. Right? That he was keeping started to tear him limb from limb from the inside. <laughs> the man had a heart attack, went into cardiac arrest oh he was just jacked up right and his brother the police officer is still trying to help save him even shot a police officer putting his neck on the line and it was like a spur of the moment thing too because it's not like he just you know it was crazy anyway the heartache the pain the destruction that the that judge ooh ooh I'm prophesying right now ooh Lord Jesus there is a judge there is a judge a corrupt judge that is being destroyed from the inside out right now as I'm speaking Holy Spirit thank you I did not know that I was talking about an actual judge I am talking about an actual judge in the 3D. 6.54 on my timer. The countdown. I'm talking about an actual judge. Okay? But in this movie, this judge was being destroyed by all the secrets that they kept. Okay? And in the end, they ended up being killed. Right? By the one that was supposed to be their daughter, but wasn't. Why? Because he had a gun pointed at her mother. Mm hmm. It's out of it. All the lies and everything came to the surface, and he, he didn't want to let his family go. And he basically, if I can't have you, no one will. And the daughter saw that, came downstairs. She was a, a martial artist. Came downstairs, stuck her dad, dad with the sword, and he died in the pool. It's the karma that gets you in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you've taken it way past far. You've taken it way past far. Karma is the thing that takes you out, that balances the scales. When you've gone so far in doing the most wicked, evil things that you can think to do, to poison somebody, to try to kill them, to try to set them up in a situation to have them killed, hire hit men to come after them, giving them your address and all of this and that. Somebody just has no idea what they've gotten themselves into, <laughs> even now. Even now, because as much trouble as they're in, right, it just doesn't stop. The trouble, it doesn't stop. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> all the years, all the intrepidation, all the years. Think of all the years they've been doing this, beloved. All the years, all the time spent, all the lives ruined, all of the deaths. The murders, the homicides, all of these things that's been accumulating, these skeletons just building up in this, these closets, these walk-in closets. Beloved, these skeletons are in walk-in closets. You know how big walk-in closets are. And especially depending on what type of house it is. Them bones ain't stopped rolling yet. Mm. Them bones ain't stopped rolling yet. They clink, 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 clink. They're just falling on out, falling on out. 
<laughs> they didn't know they, 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 they didn't know that they made pain like this. They didn't know that there was pain that existed like this. They didn't know. They didn't know. <laughs> but they tried to put it on you though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, baby, nah. So, <laughs> stay happy, beloved. Because <laughs> you have every reason to be. <laughs> There's no reason to be depressed, sad, upset. You know? Even when it is tough. Right? Even when it feels like you cannot go on. Right? Even when it feels like all is lost. It's what you know to be true that keeps you at ease. 11 on one on my timer. It's what you know and you believe to be true that sets you at ease. What you know is true. Okay? Holds, it stands up against anything that is not. You ever heard the truth will speak for itself? Because it does. The truth speaks for itself. The truth is protection in itself. Say I was up here lying, right? About everything I've been talking about, right? I'd catch fire for that. I'd catch hell for that. Right? Why? Because it wouldn't be the truth. But say I'm up here like I am now. Releasing truth like I've been doing. Then the truth is going to protect me. Along with God's divine angels. Divine holy angels. But along with them, the truth is going to protect me. And it's going to protect you at all times. Truth and love. One, two, three, four on my timer. Love y'all. Later. Peace.